Hi everyone, so my name is Maya Gul and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the top most demanding tools you guys need to learn about if you're in the DevOps field, if you're a DevOps engineer, a SysOps administrator, a cloud engineer, a cloud infrastructure engineer, a cloud architect, or any position in the DevOps industry, the cloud industry, I'm going to be talking about one of the tools some of the tools that are very in demand that are being used by most of the organizations by that are being used by most of the companies and if you want to get a good good job in this field i would suggest you guys to learn about these tools a lot and gain experience on them so starting off let's talk about the first tool which would actually be a, the cloud platform you're going to be learning so as you guys probably know there's so many cloud platforms over here we have aws we have azure we have gcp we have roku and a few others too however the most in demand and the top um, cloud platforms are that are going right now and that are being mostly used by the companies globally are aws and azure they are being the other ones are also being used for sure but the most in top are aws and azure i personally have more proficiency in aws and i like it over azure but however it is it all depends on someone's preference and the company's preference and the person's preference so azure and aws are one of the top two i would say most demanding cloud platforms so if you're in the in this field if you want to get into this field learn about these two tools the most and moving forward i would say let's talk about like the ci cd uh, tools that are in most demand so the one of the top i would say is jenkins ci so a lot of the companies a lot of the company use jenkins a lot because it's very proficient it has it gives you a lot of like you know openness you can do you can create in jenkins many things so it's one of the top most useful tools that are being used by companies to deploy the ci cd pipelines and like you know if you, you can for like their ci cd pipelines for their infrastructure as a code it's being used for most of the things by a lot of organizations so jenkins is one of the top most demanding um tools i would say and i would um suggest you guys to learn about it get experience on it if you still haven't and moving forward let's talk about the infrastructure as a code tool that is in most uh, that is mostly in demand and right now the ones that i know about are CloudFormation, which is an AWS specific infrastructure as a code tool a service and then we have terraform which is hashicorp's um service so the most in demand is terraform terraform is being used by so many companies and organizations to actually deploy their infrastructure and have it as code it is such a proficient uh, tool i use it myself personally i am i am even terraform certified so i do know a lot of its stuff i work on it on a regular basis and i would say that terraform is an amazing tool for infrastructure as a code and it's in very demand right now most of the companies most of the job descriptions for new jobs as a devops engineer are requiring terraform as a must because you know all of their infrastructure they want it to be automated through a tool they don't want to deploy infrastructure manually going into aws or azure they don't don't want to do they don't want to deploy anything manually so they all want it to be through code so that it can be automated it can be managed properly so terraform is a very is a tool that is in demand a lot and again i would suggest you guys to learn about terraform it can get a little tricky in between but i would say it's personally a pretty easy tool to learn and get skills on so yeah for infrastructure as a code terraform is one of the best tools to learn and one of the best tools in demand and then moving forward let's talk about some tools for our mod for like for monitoring so in monitoring and logging and alerting there are so many different tools out there and to be honest i don't think that there's one best tool in this but there are a few ones that aren't demanded as i mentioned so for monitoring there's aw specific one which is cloud watch if you uh, if there's an organization which is cloud uh, like you know aw specific they would prefer aws cloud watch because now cloud watch has also improved a lot they have uh, given like the performance insights you can create a cloud watch dashboard so if a, a company is uh, aw specific they would prefer cloud watch however there are a few other tools like Logic and Datadog and New Relic which are pretty in demand and a lot of um, organizations want them so if you want that monitoring and sysops administrator and um, devops monitoring alerting aspect then you should also gain experience on these tools uh, 
that but personally i have more um like knowledge and experience in using sumo logic and which is a very pretty and robust tool i would say it is very it, it is a little tricky to use because there are some uh, um, difficult queries you can do but for logging and storing your metrics it's like a perfect tool so sumo logic is one of the top demanding monitoring tools too but again there are da there's data dog there are so many others that you can also learn so next we have is for containerization. So the most in-demand tools for containerization is Kubernetes. So if you're if you're already in the DevOps field, you would know that everyone is moving to Kubernetes because it is very automated, it's very robust service, and containerization is the future. Like you know, everyone everyone wants it to be their applications to be containerized, be more automated, so that it can be deployed easily, it can be managed easily. So Kubernetes is one of the top most demanding, like you know, um, experience and skilled skills required it can be like aws eks which is uh, elastic kubernetes service for aws it can be kubernetes itself it can be docker docker containers ecs which is an aws service called elastic container service so you know there are so many um different tools for that but i would say kubernetes is one of the most demanding ones if you want to up uh, like level up your experience if you want to level up your knowledge being a devops being in the devops industry kubernetes it is to learn um and it is like one in the one of the most in demand tools as i would say because a lot of the organizations want to go on to kubernetes and use kubernetes clusters and containerization so next we have is coding and scripting. So to be honest, in DevOps field, it depends on how much coding and scripting you need. There is, you do need to know and have some kind of knowledge and experience in coding, but I won't say that it is like one of the top priorities you need for a DevOps engineer job, because it all depends on the company and the organization and what type of work you have to do. So uh, to be honest, again, for this, I don't have any specific answer. Like this tool is, like this code is the most in demand, but I would say one of the major ones is Python because that is being used by a lot of the companies over here and our, and our organizations. So Python is a really good code if you want to learn and get onto scripting. Um, I personally um, do have some kind of knowledge in using Python, but I won't call myself like a proficient coder or scripter. However, Python is one of the most in-demand coding languages. And then there are a few others because, you know, again, it all depends on the companies on organizations code or whatever they are using however um it learning coding is also a good um a good skill for being in the devops in industry and being a devops engineer so yeah this was like a quick video of me telling you guys about one of the most in-demand tools that are being used regularly and globally by a lot of companies and organizations they are in demands they are on most of the job descriptions you'll find for like devops jobs so again if you want to be in, in at a good level and at being a, in the devops industry you should know these tools you should gain experience on those and again you can find so many online courses on learning these tools you can practice hands-on learn about them take certifications and it it can be a it can be a whole journey to learn, learn these it will take time and effort but if you put your mind to it you can do it so this will be the end of this video i hope you guys liked it don't forget to like comment subscribe and share comment down below if you have any questions and hope you guys like this video and stay tuned for more